there's a new off-roader in town and it's called Ineos Grenadier. And actually it's online configurator is now live. So in this video, I wanted to build my dream Grenadier for you. And uh, some of you may already know this vehicle. It's a brand new company for the automotive world out of uh, Great Britain, but some of you may not know it. So uh, let me just give you a little bit of background. Ineos is a giant global corporation. They um, do many different things. And then they decided to also build a, the next iteration of what they think may have been the Land Rover Defender. This is their own take on it um, from the ground up. And uh, Grenadier is a pub restaurant in London, and uh, it's related to the name of this vehicle because that's where the idea was born. So uh, let's take a look at this. Um, come over, and I'm going to build uh, what I think would be my dream vehicle, my dream Grenadier. So um, on their website, you can now... Uh, build a US specific version or a UK specific version. So I'm building the US version and the pricing is not available yet. It's still, it's still about a year or more away from actually going on sale, but at least we can play with it. Uh, there's three versions, Grenadier, Trailmaster Edition, and Field, Fieldmaster Edition. Uh, they're all powered by one power plant at this time. So if you could see this, it is, let's, let's focus here, three liter straight six BMW turbocharged engine with 282 horsepower and 332 pound feet of torque. So very torquey, uh, it's a B58 code engine. It's been in use in BMW vehicles for many, a long time. Uh, so they're kind of uh, basically licensing that engine and putting it inside this new off-roader. Uh, the transmission is an eight speed. And if you look over here, uh, the stock itself um, may be familiar to you because it's a BMW ZF uh, unit, uh, eight-speed automatic transmission. So the powertrain should be fairly reliable, very smooth, and very powerful. There is no hybrid. There is no electrification here, um, not yet at least. So this is the power plant you get in no matter how you configure it. So for my dream one, I'm gonna build a base one and see what options are available. So first, let me change colors. Uh, I may like this um, green, I think they call it Sela green. It's a little darkish. Let me see if I can load another. Yeah, it's a little dark. Um, I don't like that dark of a green. Let me change the color a little bit to Eldoret blue. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing this. <laughs> Uh, very fancy names. So I'm going to leave it like this. Let's see how this looks. There is up to what 10 colors, 10 different colors you can uh, specify. I love the Steelys. So let me show you some more views of this one. And it will also zoom in on the wheel as well. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about the styling of this. Um, also, the rear doors open. Let me try to do that now and see how it loads. So it's kind of a barn style arrangement for the rear doors. It's kind of a 40-60 or maybe a 30-70 split. And then also we could see it with the doors open here. And let me close the doors and look around this truck a little bit more and go to the wheels. Um, I think I'm going to keep the Steelys. They have a um, 17 inch Steely or an 18 inch Steely. Let me keep going. It should be coming up next. Let me see there. Or you could change it. Um, you could change it to an alloy wheel. So let me show you how that looks. So there's one version of it. And then there's another version of it, which is an 18 inch wheel. No matter what wheel you get, you do have some options for all-terrain tires. So for example, but let me go to a 17-inch Steely. I think it kind of looks a little bit more classic, uh, which is what this vehicle is really about. Um, and then you can also, um, Grenadier would be happy to put a B of Goodrich 
KO2 tire on it, which is a really popular, famous all-terrain tire. So this is how I would configure mine. And let's keep going a little bit and take a look at the interior. And then I'll show you some of the off-road gear that you can select, which is, would be pretty awesome. So or I think already it looks better. Let me know in the comments below what you think. But I think this color actually works, the aggressive tires and the steely. I might want to paint them silver just to set up the wheels a little bit if I got one. That would be my, that would be my favorite. So let's go on the inside. This is what it uh, looks like on the inside. Um, so once again, this is the US spec. So the steering wheel moves this way. You have a little gauge cluster right here, uh, big horizontal screen and you switch panels with exposed screws um, and actually vinyl seats, uh, which I prefer. I, I, I like my vehicle simple and I'll tell you about UK pricing in a second. But doesn't this look like kind of like an airplane or a military vehicle look? Um, I think it's pretty unique. I think they're doing a good job with that. So once again, if we focus here, you can also get leather trim, uh, multicolor leather, but I will stay with my vinyl with my vinyl seat option, cloth and vinyl. So I, I'll stay like that, should be pretty good. Then you could change the steering wheel. You can get it in saddle leather driver's pack. Let's see how that looks. You can see this unique steering wheel kind of changes how it's wrapped. <laughs> and it's pretty unique because you have your cruise control setting and actually a little button for horn, uh, that little button and the volume controls, etc. And it looks pretty sporty. I actually like how this wheel steering wheel looks. And let's see, you can also get a compass altimeter that goes in the center. So let's see how that looks. Let's see it change and bam. Let me show you a kind of a zoom in version of it up here. It's a little compass uh, with uh, the time. So I think that would be a worthy option. And then finally, utility. Let's keep going because this is, this is important. Rough pack, differential lockers, front and rear, yes. And also there's a smooth pack option with a little bit more uh, heated power, um, extended mirrors, heated windscreen, washer, jets, um, et cetera, et cetera. I already picked BFGs, but I want the lockers. I want to make sure I have the lockers. So I'm going to specify that. And like I said, differential lockers, front and rear. And also those switches look like this. So that's pretty neat. And also there's a little graphic uh, up saying how big your, <laughs> your Grenadier is. Um, so that's pretty neat. Also, I can do a raised air intake or maybe you could call it a snorkel. They don't call it a snorkel, it's a raised air intake. Right there, I think that looks pretty mean. Very nice. Um, you can also look, look, you could select Fender, very Land Rover Defender style. So this is their own take on it. And the story goes that uh, the, the people from Ineos actually went to Land Rover and they said, give us the plans for the def classic Defenders. We'll continue to build them. We'll create a new factory, we'll build them. And Land Rover basically said no. They said, we're continuing, we're redesigning the Defender, we're getting something new out there. Um, so Ineos went their own direction, but still kind of hearkening back to that British style. And I, I think it's a boxy, utilitarian, uh, quiet, nice. I want rock sliders. Yes, gotta have rock sliders. Um, they kind of look like this on the side. So this is basically, oh, and the roof rack, uh, yeah. Actually, uh, that's not available right now, at least here. So this would be my dream configuration. Um, in UK, this starts at 49,000 uh, pounds, which translates to about $60,000 starting price uh, for the base version of this uh, Grenadier. If you wanna go to some of the others, I can show you right now. Uh, let's see, if you go to the Fieldmaster, which is kind of the most luxurious one, change version, that starts, I think, at closer to 59,000 pounds or about 70, 
thousand uh, dollars plus and you could see it has little roof panels on the top um, and it has different kind of wheel options different bumper option still skid plates still very very capable same power plant um, so you can get it more luxurious probably for seventy thousand dollar plus or you can get it a little bit more simple at about sixty thousand dollars but final us spec pricing is not available yet it could be around those areas it could be more it could be less so i hope um i hope you find this interesting i think <laughs> it does have the classic look that uh, i can appreciate let me know what you think in the comments below and as always you can find us at otfl.com it's a one-stop shop for everything in the automotive world from tfl um, and you can find me at tfltruck.com that's where i hang out the most thanks